What's up agents, Zero here, welcome back to yet another Minecraft video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can import custom content to Minecraft on your Android device. <laughs> Now, I'm actually making this tutorial for two different reasons. Number one is because compared to the other platforms the Bedrock Edition is on, Android has the most amount of options. I do know for a fact that there are specific apps that allow you to import custom maps and ands and that kind of stuff. However, I'm not going to be focusing on that for this particular video. And the second reason is actually the real reason why I'm making this video, and that's because somebody on Discord messaged me asking for some custom skin packs. I'm going to leave them anonymous for the time being, but they had issues installing it, so I figured why not help them and potentially other people out by explaining how you can go about doing this. And I do want to go ahead and mention this is not just simply for skin packs. You can do this with custom worlds, add-ons, resource packs, pretty much anything that you can import directly into Minecraft. You can use this tutorial to go ahead and help you. So maybe you're not going to be using the exact same kind of content that I'm going to be showing off in this video. But if you follow it regardless, you should at the very least be able to follow along. So let's not waste any more time and we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, the first thing that you're going to need to do is obviously download whatever content it is you want to go ahead and import. This is the obvious first step. And if you're playing on the uh, Bedrock Edition version, MCPDO is actually probably one site that you're the most familiar with. There are obviously other sites that you can go ahead and use, but this is one that I use on a regular basis. But all you have to do is find whatever you're looking for. In this particular case, I'm using a map. Like I said, this is not the only type of content that you can use this tutorial for. You can use add-ons, resource packs, skin packs, that kind of stuff. But I actually already went ahead and downloaded this map. But all you really have to do is click on the download link. Depending on what you're downloading, you may be taken to an ad site, which there's a lot of controversy about that at the moment. I'm not going to get into details about that. But other than that, just go ahead and download all the stuff that you want to go ahead and get installed onto your Android device. And once you have that, let's go ahead and move on to the next part. Okay, once you have whatever content it is that you want downloaded, you're going to want to go ahead and go into your downloads folder. Now, something I want to go ahead and mention is that on pretty much every platform, other than Android, you are required to use a very specific type of file. It's going to be either MC Pack, MC World, MC something of those lines. That's just how those other platforms work. Technically speaking, you do have that option on Android. However, you can also use .zip files as well. Something I do want to go ahead and mention real briefly is that compared to the other platforms, you do have the option to just simply click on your file and be able to import to Minecraft in that particular way. However, this is actually another way that you can go ahead and do this. So here's what we're going to go ahead and do. I'm going to go ahead and choose this file right here. This is actually the file that I had already downloaded. So what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and click on copy. So this is obviously going to be able to move it onto my other um folder that i'm going to use so what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to navigate my way to the actual folder where you need to put all of your stuff so depending on what device you have how you get to this folder may be different for you however the same general idea is going to be pretty much on every single device what you need to do is you need to find a folder right here this is labeled as games so i'm going to go ahead and open this up and then we have ourselves a folder inside of that called com.mojang which obviously mojang is the company that made minecraft we're going to go ahead and open this now from here you can see pretty much all the folders inside of it and these are the different folders that 
Minecraft will read. So do keep this in mind. Depending on what you're downloading and trying to install, your file is going to have to go onto a different set of folders. Maybe, for example, you're downloading an and you're going to need to put in this behavior pack folder. Your skin packs is going to go into this skin pack folder right here. If you just look at the file uh, folder names, you should be able to figure out pretty easily what uh, files go to where. But in my particular example, I'm downloading a Minecraft world. So let's go ahead and go in there. And we're going to go ahead and paste it inside of here. And if we scroll down, yeah, we have our tomb of the, I can't actually remember, tomb of the skeleton king, I think is what it's called. I don't remember, remember. But this is actually where we want the file. Now, let me just go and say we are not done just yet. We have a few more steps that we need to go ahead and take because Minecraft does not read these files in this state in this folder like this. You actually have to do some more stuff, which is actually pretty simple all things considered. So what you need to do is you need to go ahead and select it and then you need to go, go ahead and click on rename. So in this particular example, this file is named as MC World. Maybe you have MC Pack, MC Allen, MC Function. It really doesn't matter as long as it says MC something, then you should be fine. But what you want to do is you want to take it and change it from in my particular case, MC World, and change it to .zip. And you're going to change it to .zip regardless of whatever file extension it already has. This is going to be the same across the board. So we're going to go ahead and save that. Now we have to take one additional step. We need to unpackage this zip file. Now on Android, depending on what file explorer you have, you should be able to unzip the file directly within the actual file explorer some file explorers will require some form of extension or maybe it doesn't even support it at all you're going to use a completely separate app but that's just so you guys are aware i can go ahead and extract this straight off the bat so if i go ahead and do that and we should be good now i actually have no idea where this file actually is to be completely honest actually i found it right here Tomb of the um, Skeleton Kings right here. Now, this is actually going to have all the files necessary in order to be able to run whatever content it is you want. Maybe it's an add-on or a resource back, as I've been saying before. That's perfectly fine. Now, something I do want to go ahead and briefly mention. If for some reason you unpackage your file in the folder and it just simply dumps out all the necessary files for whatever it is you're doing, then you need to take an additional step. I just happen to be pretty lucky in that it already created a file folder for me, but if it does not do that, then you need to create a brand new file folder and then dump all of the files inside of that. It does not matter what the actual file folder's name is. Minecraft does not read that. It instead only reads all the files inside of the folder. The folders are just so that Minecraft knows that it's different from other content that is going to be inside of the game. Hopefully that makes some amount of sense. If not, then maybe potentially rewind and watch a couple more times just so you guys get the idea of what is supposed to end up happening. But yeah, once you actually have your folder where it needs to go, then you should be good to go ahead and open up Minecraft. And I'm going to say this one final time. This does not exclude all the other versions of content you can import. You can use this on maps like I just did, skin packs, and resource back to those sort of stuff. I just wanted to mention that one final time just to be 100% clear. But yeah, let's go ahead and go back into Minecraft and we're going to check to see if we actually did everything correctly. Okay, so we have Minecraft reopened. So now we need to go ahead and click on play. And as you can tell at the top, we already have Tomb of the Skeleton King install, which is awesome. I technically speaking did not show this off previously, but it was not there before, but it is there now. So as you can tell, obviously we have the option to play it. Now I did not play it yet, but I'm not going to do so in this particular video, but hopefully this tutorial you guys found potentially helpful. But other than that, this is actually where I'm going to go ahead and end things off. So 
Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, make sure that like button. And more than make sure that subscribe button for future content. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at agencyp 0 to stay updated. This has been Zero Studios. Thank you guys for watching. And with that, I'll see you guys later.